The man woke up with a start. He's a complete idiot. It turns out that the police free, in order to protect the hospitalized witnesses from being assassinated, he decided to disguise himself as a patient, but he was knocked unconscious by someone opening the door. However, the patient in this bed was just about to have an operation. The doctor pushed him into the operating theater. By the time his partner realized the situation, the operation had already been completed. This makes the ignorant bald head a bit confused. The doctor even told him that the operation was a success. Didn't we agree to work together? Why did you take the time to do the operation? Bree was also in tears, just when he wanted to explain. He saw the killer drug dealer disguised as a doctor, entered the witness ward, so he rushed into the ward with his post-surgery pain. But he didn't realize that the witness had already been killed. But it wasn't too bad to catch the drug dealer. But the drug dealer looked at Bree in disbelief. It turned out that Bree had just had a breast augmentation operation by the doctor. The man looked at himself in the mirror. The drug dealer took the opportunity to run away. The police are on duty. Then the fugitive escaped. They chased him all the way to the underground garage. They were blocked by the killer's accomplices. Baldhead immediately said that he was not capable of holding a gun. If you have the guts to put down your weapon and fight with Bree. But the man said, I don't fight women. Then he looked at Bree. Bree was helpless. Then he spoke angrily to spur him on. The drug dealer decided to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. So the two of them got ready to fight. Bree started to rehearse the fight in his head. First, he distracts him with his clothes. And then he throw a surprise punch. And then, if he can anticipate his anticipation, he can easily overpower him. But this is what happened. Maybe he moved too fast. The opponent could not react in time. What about this time? One more time. One last time. I've taken off all my clothes. And he didn't move at all. Bree was dumbfounded. It's not what I expected. The drug dealer stared at him incredulously. Finally, they were tied up. Two unlucky men were caught. Their hands and feet were tied. Bree tried to save himself with a distant lighter. He was stabbed with a knife. It was a bit of a pain in the arse. But the plan went well. They managed to get burned by the rope. The next thing I know, his back is on fire. Char grabbed the curtains and tried to put out the fire. But the fire got bigger and bigger. Luckily, he got a fire extinguisher and put it out in time. In his excitement, Char threw the fire extinguisher to the ground. It bounced off the floor and knocked Bree unconscious. The drug dealer was laughing. Then he closed the door. Luckily, the smoke alarms in the house worked. The firemen arrived in time. They set up an inflatable cushion. They had to jump down one by one. Char threw Bree down first. But before the firefighters could get him out, he jumped off. So the unlucky man was sent to the fire. When he came to his senses, he was furious. I can't believe this guy left me behind and ran away. Luckily, the firefighters were able to save him. 